School days were much different 100 years ago. Children of all ages were taught in the same room. The school day would begin very early for the teacher. She had to bring in coal or wood and start a fire in the pot-bellied stove and get ready for the day. School would begin at 9 o'clock when the teacher would come out and ring the bell for the students to come in. Boys would line up on one side and girls on the other. The students were expected to stand by their desk until the teacher told them to be seated. Classwork was very different. There was very little paper, so most of the students did their work on slates or on the blackboard. Students were required to do lots of memorizing and recitations. Furnishings in the room might have included a U.S. flag, two rows of desks, one on each side of the stove, a bookcase, maps, and maybe a picture or two. There were hooks or nails on the wall at the back of the room where the students hung their coats and a bench for removing their overshoes and storing lunches beneath. There was a bucket of water or a water pump outside with a dipper that everyone used. One hundred years ago, children had to bring their lunch to school. They brought their food in a pail or just wrapped in a cloth or paper. No cute lunch bags or lunch boxes. Students had to use a tin cup or the dipper in the room to get a drink of water. Their lunch was usually leftovers from another meal, such as cold pancakes from breakfast, a piece of fruit or a vegetable from the garden, and a piece of homemade bread. No candy or sweet snacks. The schoolhouse did not have indoor plumbing, so you had to use the restroom outside in the outhouse. Teachers were very strict and had a lot of rules for the kids to follow. The students were required to use good manners, be polite and considerate. They had to sit at their desk until give, given permission to leave. Students had to sit up straight with both feet flat on the floor and their hands must be folded on top of their desk. Students had to raise their hands before talking. Then they had to stand up behind their desk to speak or to answer a question. Students were not allowed to talk or pass notes to each other. They were expected to follow instructions and work without interruptions. They were not allowed to turn around in their seats or let their attention stray from their work. Discipline for breaking rules was different back then. The teacher m might have sat you in the corner with a dunce cap on your head if you did not recite well. If you were late for school, you would lose your recess. If you littered or spit, you had to clean the floor. If you were misbehaving, you would have to write 100 sentences on the blackboard. If a boy misbehaved, the teacher made him sit by a girl. Recess was just as fun back then as it is now, but some of the games were different. The kids played marbles, pushed the potato, they had sack races, played tug of war, string games, or leapfrog. And at the end of the school day, there were no school buses to take the kids home. They had to walk or their parents came to get them in the horse-drawn wagon. Schools of the past were the main focus of the community and a place of interesting activities for all, just as they are today.